Welcome back to the Fitness Five channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the Roaring Fire Pika Fire Pocket Pouch, which is quite a mouthful of saying. So this is a pocket organizer and it's kind of a larger size. So it's about four inches wide and about 5.8 inches long. Um, this pocket organizer costs $20. So not bad for a pocket organizer, about what you'd expect. So you have a pocket on the front here, kind of a tight, small little pocket maybe fit some I don't know, business cards, whatever else. So they're really thin in there. They have another zippered pocket on the back. Same thing, pretty tight, not much space there. All right, you have this Velcro on the front for attaching a pouch. Um, a little loop back here. You can use this for attaching a lanyard. Um, if you like carrying your pouch on your neck, I personally don't, but whatever. Um, or you can just cut it off if it bugs you, right? All right, then over here, they have a small little loop, and this is for locking your zipper, per se. So what you do is you put it in there, and then basically it doesn't come open by itself. So that's kind of a cool little feature they did there. So the zipper is a YKK, so it's a bit more premium zipper. All right, so this is what I have inside. So you can see this is actually, this pocket organizer is kind of, um, basically set up to you like, like a wallet, per se because you have your three slots here for a credit card. Uh, you have a little zippered pouch down below. Kind of cool. They made it where it's kind of like stretched along the side. So it's not like you're having to like dig your finger in there to try to reach in there. You can easily access if you have it. If you want to carry a spare cash, which that's what I would carry here would be uh, actual cash. You can't use cards everywhere. Maybe not yet. But anyways, so it's kind of a cool little pouch to edit there. And then on the top, they have a large pouch big enough to hold a passport. Now this is really cool because that makes this pouch a, a good travel pouch, basically. Um, simply because the passport fits there easily. If you've ever traveled before, you know it's nice to be able to have somewhere to hold your, your passport. Of course, naturally, if you were flying, you would want to include a knife and a lighter and stuff like that. And also here on the left, you have the same size of pouch. I'm sorry, not same size, but same size of pocket. All right, so it fit, you could fit another passport on the left if you were traveling with somebody. Um, I put a right in the rain, small little notepad in there. So it's kind of also fits ideally right into there. All right, then they have the elastic loops for organizing your gear. So they have four small ones and two large ones, but something I'll get to here a bit is even though they have those extra loops in the back, there's not really enough space to add any gear there. So what I've added is I've added the, this is the uh, Refineco titanium pin. I think this is the EP1 model, if I'm not mistaken. I chose this pin because it's a bit smaller than your usual uh, tactical pin. And so in a small pouch, this pin fits really well. Whereas if you had a full-size pin, like this Robbie Vaughn Commander, it fits, but it's pretty tight. It's right to the top, right to the bottom. And so that's why I went with this refined coat. So it fits it really well. All right, then I put a little Bic the mini Bic lighter and this small little Olight flashlight. This is the IR2. It's a cool little flashlight. If you haven't seen this before, it's small and actually it's pretty bright. And then the really cool thing is you keep unscrewing this and it pops open and you have a micro USB uh, charging port. And it's a really cool little compact flashlight there. And so again, Fits really well in a, in a small little pouch. And I've also added this True Utility pocket knife. So also a nice little, nice little knife. It's got a little pocket clip to it. And the tip of the pocket clip actually works like a pry. Got a little prying tool or a large flathead, whatever. All right, so onto the, the negative that I noticed about this pouch is that this is not really stuffed full of gear. Um, just some pretty small stuff. I didn't put anything in the back. There's the, the small little notepad. The passport's kind of thick, um, but even still, I mean, it's not that much gear that I've put inside of this. But when you go to close it, it seems like it's like you've overstuffed it. And so closing it up, you kind of got to pinch it right here to get it to close. Oops, this escaped. All right, so, I mean, it fits, but the reason why it's so stuffed is because it has 
um, padding on the front and the back. And so it's kind of hard to show you on the video, but you see when I pull right here, this line, so what it's, it feels like it's got like cardboard right in behind this and some foam or something behind it. So it's, it's kind of like soft to the pinch. And so I guess to a certain degree, what they try to do is protect your gear with the padded front and padded back. But what they ended up doing is really making it um, a really thick pouch, even empty. So if you pull everything out and you close it, it still it feels pretty thick. All right, so that's that's one, I don't know, I think it's a pretty big issue is simply that it's well designed with all the organizing options, um, the large pack, back pocket that you can fit a passport in, all of that. But then it's just, it's like I said, it just really feels like it's meant to be carried empty. And so like, like if you see, if I pull, it will close. But if you keep doing that to that zipper, you're gonna end up wearing it out or breaking it. And so that's one big minus. Um, but all in all, I like the pouch. I like the way they designed it. Um, it was just seemed like if they added a little bit more space here to the zipper, yeah, you know, that that give you the opportunity to be able to easily close it, and it wouldn't seem so overstuffed. All right, so that is the the Roaring Fire Pika Fire Pocket Pouch. And so let me know what you think about that, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.